to be live on your chin. Oh, kid. Oh. <laughs> this is the Going Deep Show. Fighting for evil because good is dumb. It's time for some more going deep show. The kid, joining me, Fiona. What's up? Oh, I'm just you know enjoying the fucking shit weather. It's almost gone though. It's, it's gonna be almost gone. Each day is closer and closer to being almost gone. I feel like it was a little bit lighter, a little bit longer yesterday. <laughs> I got something a little longer yesterday. That's what she's saying. I would, I would like to have gotten something a little longer yesterday. Longer in the schlonger. I'd like to do something a little bit longer all day, every day. Fuck. <laughs> I had this conversation with I, with my friend who I went to this brouhaha thing with. The next, we have, ever since I, sh- I showed her about the show, turned it turned around to the ship program, she's felt, I think, that it's easier to talk about dirty things. We had a conversation oh, over breakfast the other day, and it was oh, about how thick the guy's dick was that she's been banging. This is the type of conversation that somehow I, being the podcaster maniac here that I am, anybody, men and in, and women included, think that it's completely fine to talk about the girthiness of their partner's dongs and stuff with me. We, it was I to mean- the- <laughs> it was to the point where she was finding things in the room and wrapping her hands around it to compare how thick this dude's dick was. <laughs> okay. Oh, so like, so like, so like, is, is is he hurting her then? Like, is it like, I mean, was she like goddamn beer can? I don't think. No, I don't think it's certain. I think she. I think there's some satisfaction going on in her department. I think. Uh, I think. I, mean, I, 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 just, I just don't know how I. I you hear you hear me say dirty things on the podcast, and then I've had this where I'll, I'll be out at an event where it, there's no reason we should be talking about the podcast right now. It's some something, and a buddy of mine will come up and walk, walk up to me and go, check this out. It'll just be a fucking naked chick on his phone. And I'm like, dude, this is not the right place for this right now. Don't get me wrong. I want to see it. But <laughs> well, I mean, it's not in church or nothing. It's like, it's like, you know, they're fucking like singing the homily or something, and you're fucking like, look at this titties. <laughs> it was, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's interesting when pe- new people get turned on to the program. It is. Because then... Yeah. Yeah. Because like I was telling you, I woke up at her place and then I, I hear I hear you in the kitchen. And I'm like, oh, she's listening to this fucking show. Oh, great. What is she hearing me say? She's And she, oh, she's just listening to the most recent, like, last few months, too. Yeah, I'm not I'm not <laughs> sure how often she's tuning in or if, if, if any of that stuff. She's, she's a super cool chick. I liked hanging out with her at this brouhaha thing. We got a little too tipsy though it was not a good idea to huh. get as tipsy as we did without a game plan we didn't have a game plan i didn't know we were going to hit the ground running as much as we did i i went to eat beforehand had a beer beforehand she shows up she's like oh you're drinking a beer now i'm like yeah why she goes oh you're probably gonna regret that i'm like why she goes because you're gonna get fucking tanked at this thing what um, are the drinks part of the tickets you got some free t- yeah you, got, <laughs> you had like eight tickets that you could buy and they were for tiny little pours it was a it was a really awesome event. If anybody, if you get a chance, you want to go to this brouhaha thing, you should definitely do it. It was just yeah, but I was zero to drunk in about twenty minutes. It was yeah, it was interesting. That's no way to be without a game plan. Yeah, it's not the well, way to yeah. be. Because then you think you can do anything like drive. Yeah, there's yeah. It, it, if you can hear some whining and crying in the background, it's because this stupid dog of mine in here. Rosie, will you shut up, please? Okay. God damn. And now I know why you left your dog back here. No, that's why. I, I was just going to say, and that's why I left the bitch back at home. <laughs> I want to do something we haven't done in a long, long time. Every once in a while, I will hit one of our lists here. I have huge amounts of lists. And people have been asking about this one. Why don't you hit the dirty list anymore? And I go, you know what? That's not a bad idea. I have. Oh, that's the thing I was going to bring up to you. Yeah. I listened back, mm-hmm. and I listened back, and I listened back. Like how far? And, you, how uh, far did you go? Um, I don't know. Like the eighteen hundreds started to like kind of bag up, but it was like we're so like I'm so sparsely placed in a few different spots. Like 
like really not much at all. And then all of a sudden it's like, Fiona. Boom. Here is Fiona. Yeah. Yeah. It was always yeah. something that I wanted to, wanted you to come in, in for and stuff like that. Yeah. Every time I would listen to you in the Dr. Ner- on Dr. Nurse F show, I was like, oh man. Yeah. I was like, yeah, either, either one of you guys, you guys are fucking solid as a rock. Either one. Well, it's funny that you say that. Cause I, cause I listened to whatever, whichever episode that was where we were trying to get fucking brony to let me fluff him. <laughs> yes. That's, uh, I think that's probably the, the only one that he was ever on, but you, you specifically said it at the very beginning and at the very end of the show, like one of your fucking, like one of your fucking dis- like dreams or whatever, like that, whatever, but was to like, just do fucking one-on-one you and me. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was, yeah, I thought it was a great idea because we just have that kind of like, we, we both grew up in the same environment. We both kind of had the same, you, the, when you talk about the way your parents were with you, it, I, you're speaking for me almost exactly, you know, hearing the, the same things. There's a lot that we can relate to and I think it's created the monsters that we are now. <laughs> so, I have to say, we both ended up the same fucked up. <laughs> yeah, we are. We are. Which is fucking epic as fuck. I, the thing is, I keep, do you, do you find yourself find, uh, getting a little softer as the years go? No. I see. That's the thing. I, at least in my brain, I think to myself, I'm not quite as edgy. I'm not quite as obnoxious. No, I'm way more obnoxious than I ever was. Yeah. So maybe this is why I seek you out more because I want to. I want. I want you to teach, I'll be the your yang. teach me your wild, obnoxious ways. You got to remember that, like, there's very, very little that I give a fuck about. I try that. I try to do that, but then I. I it makes me almost think about the things that I care about more. Like you, the thing that you've got me really, really, uh, I don't know, man, when I'm, when I'm, you were talking a little bit before about the help that you get, uh, when you go to work. Okay. I don't know how much you want to discuss that pop in. Yeah, yeah. Give a fuck. Right. So I want, uh, I've always been curious about it, but I've all heard horror stories when you get stuck on that stuff that it weaning off of it or anything like that. And no, for focus and things like this. And no, three nights a week. I don't, I don't, I don't do that other than the nights that I'm working. I don't, I don't, I don't even, you know, and it probably makes it so that I'm more tired during the, you know, off nights or, you know, like during the off days, Uh it could be, but I'm a night shifter. So, you know, like it is what it is, but no, I don't just on the nights that I work and I'm, you know, it's not, and sometimes I forget to even (coughs) do it on the nights that I fucking work. Like I'll leave and I'll fucking get there. And then like, by the time I remember, it's like 12 o'clock, one o'clock in the morning. I'm like, I ain't doing it now. I'll be up until fucking next year. Right. I worry about you when you're not sleeping though. Not to get all serious in this here on you guys, but you know, this is what this is guys like me do for friends who aren't getting enough sleep. All I'm doing is shaving off the fucking the you know, the fucking the shit years of my life that I don't need anyway. Fuck it. Who the fuck wants to take care of a goddamn invalid? <laughs> Not me. I don't even want to be one. Don't wanna be one, don't wanna take care of one, don't want anyone around me. The word invalid, I don't even wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it. You know? I don't want have I don't want to have a heart attack or a stroke right now. I mean, granted, I'm kind of like t- t- tempting fate here and shit, but, but, uh, you know, I, I, if, if I got older and fucking all, you know, like all demented or all kinds of fucked up or whatever, just, just fucking let, let something fucking take me out. Like just a real good fucking bleed in my brain. <laughs> oh God. I, how do we get to this? Cause I, I was going to bring up the dirty list. Now we're talking about blood bleed. <laughs> We we were we were talking we were talking we were talking about fucking like doing the goddamn show. I talked about it and I said when Drugs. we do it, do it and yeah. So so go back to the fucking naughty list, the dirty list. Well, what's interesting about this? I I've gone through this list and, and it, there's topics like the like subject matter, like categories. So one of them, one of them is like nudity and being naked, mm-hmm. and masturbating, all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I'm trying to think like how much I want to talk about this because. New Year's when we get weird hot tub in that time. Yeah. I don't know if it's like the the cold, you know, I was very self-conscious of being around you guys that night. Hot tubbing. Really? With you. Yes. Just because I know we're all friends and shit and you guys see nakedness all the time, but it's just like, still, I was like, I don't want to Costanza it over here. I, had this kind yeah, of- I would know it was a Costanza situation with the freezing ass cold fucking air. Cause how many fucking conversations have we had where you're, where you're fucking railing the fuck out of some bitch. And like, <laughs> like I guarantee you that if you're fucking, if you were, were like shrinkage fucking size, you're not satisfying anybody. Right. I, I don't think I've, I mean, I'm not like, so it doesn't even occur to me to think that. Right. But still, there's not a lot of instances where I'm, naked around other females let alone probably two of my best friends 
<laughs> you know what well, I mean? Well, now you've been. It was awkward. No, it wasn't awkward. In fact, it felt really good to be quite honest with you. I think I think one of the things I said that night was, uh, "This is probably the most relaxed I've been in fucking years." Oh yeah, you could have fucking just just let loose and farted. In the it was tub and... yeah, it was great. I loved every second of it. You know, that's the fucking fu- funny part about it is like, uh, like I didn't even think to like like look at you guys in that way, like no, because 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 I know well and I like fucking it's a respect thing for me. Mm-hmm. And, <laughs> and you... I didn't think. You guys are always constantly talking about staring at each other's fucking f- flaps and shit, too, and looking at each other's private yeah. parts and all this. I mean, yeah. you're doctors and nurses, you see all that shit, you know? Well, yeah, we got skinny dipping in that fucking hot tub. Like, like uh, fucking me, fucking Pinkie Pie, Brony, we fucking all went skinny dipping. Like, at, 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 there was the one night, I don't know why you didn't come out, but it was that first time that Brony fucking came on the show. Was, uh, was Endo still in the picture, probably? That's probably uh, the reason. I, yeah. I think it was, because I really wanted to go. I did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you guys could have come. Yeah, I would have probably enjoyed that way more than what I had to fucking deal with. <laughs> well, onward and upward. This conversation, though, was something that I, I, I thought about just a couple of days ago, because I recall one of my ex-girlfriends wanting to, and I think she actually did this, she used ice on my dick one time. Yeah. To make it as small as it possibly could get. Yeah. All in the name of wanting to blow me, to feel it go from the time the as small as it could get all the way. That was the conversation we had with full, Brony on the show. That's why you were trying to get him to let me fluff him. Was that it? Is that the same? Did we talked about this? Oh yeah. Yeah, like you, you're talking about that, like bitches that like to do that, blah blah blah. And he's like, sound like they sound like keepers. <laughs> well, then here's what's really strange about this because we somehow talked about this on the Doctor Nurse F show on how. <laughs> Skittles won't let Dr. Pinkie Pie measure his big old hog that he supposedly has. Remember? No, he won't. No, he won't. What the fuck is the deal with that, bro? And he wouldn't fucking do it. Why fucking not? He won't fucking do it. I don't fucking know. And he's never fucking done it. See, the thing is, I, he's never measured it? Well, he said it on the show. If you got a... Like, if you got a... Like, how big you, you said, how big is your dong? And he's like, oh, I don't know. Uh, last time I measured it, like, uh, never... He you're never, like, you have never measured your cat. Like, you never measure your dong, and then you were telling him how to do it. I'm seriously, we seriously need to do the stamping, the rubber stamping <laughs> thing. But I'm trying to think what food we could put on it, because you get, it's got to be, it's, we got to make it so that it's an easy cleanup. You can't put like a, you can't ink blot your fucking dick, otherwise you're never getting that, you're, the ink will never fucking come off of it. It's got to be something you can easily, we can easily get off of it. Like chocolate? Chocolate might work. Chocolate dick what? stamps. <laughs> you could sell it. <laughs> Like, 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 uh, like you're doing, like you're doing a fucking fondue and share whatever the fuck they like. <laughs> salad, uh, with your dick. Yeah, we could put it on a tortilla and then you can eat it afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. This is it. We're onto something here. This is, There's need, so many fucking ideas in my head right now with like this whole situation. We need to, like yeah, this, a brainstorm session here. I can see veering down a very awesome path. You know. <laughs> Something with the tortilla, something with some type of chocolate covering. Oh, I can make some bowls with my tits. Yeah, there's got to be. But I think the, the measurement thing is is a curiosity among. <laughs> we tried to. I I tried to convince the other guys in the podcast to do this years ago. I'm completely on board with doing it. I am ready. I will do it. I will fucking do it. Fucking cock stamp it right down. I don't give a shit. I'll fucking do it. What are they? They don't. They don't want to do it because it because it because it makes them a little gay or something. I don't know about the gayness because it's not like we would see you doing it. I mean, we may take a, a female into the room just to the, either get it all worked up or whatever, or just to witness the flop. You know, just so that we can get it official. Fucking flop it on. You know what I mean? Just to fluff it right up. But I think J Mac was one of them. That was like, I'm not fucking doing that. J Mac was not doing it. He did not want to do it. Well, Why has he got a dicky do? I don't know. I think he, it's. A, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe he has a hard time finding it. So yeah, I think G Dub. I believe he, there's, he's notoriously for the having the girth girth situation. All right. So I can see where it would be a funny comical thing. We should we should do this somehow with uh, with a GoPro. <laughs> You hook the GoPro to your dick as you're flopping. That's like almost like almost like, <clears throat> like 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 a little porno right there. You can put a fucking GoPro on your fucking dick and just fucking like flop it around. See, here's the thing: that would be hilarious if we did this with video. 
and I bring we bring in stunt dicks. <laughs> you gotta watch Orgasmo. No, are, we, are we are we fucking bringing the stunt dick? Are we are we slice in some porno? You know, it was just like these fucking. I would do one where it's just it cuts to like a huge black cock and it's just like yeah, man, here you go, <laughs> thump. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Wow, we really did get on the dirty list, didn't we? <laughs> That's fine. I got no problems with that. And I'm fucking mad about anything. Fuck it. Body parts. I always like body parts. Like the boobs versus butts thing is always interesting to me. Because. Who prefers what? Well, that and like when I'm looking up porn and stuff like that, it's being in the right mood. And it's, for some reason, if I've interacted with somebody in real life, and they've and they've they've flirted in a certain kind of way. I will seek out that person's body type in the in imagining that it's them. Okay. So, for instance, if I went to, I remember years ago going to this Burger King, uh, way down in Chesaning or something. This and it was an older milfy kind of chick working. Yeah. But she was super flirtatious. Yeah. And um. <laughs> I think it, it, she put, I remember the stupid line she used. It was like, you know, the, the if, you, if your ticket order is a certain number, you get a special discount, blah, 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 right? So she had 77 on the board. And she goes, you like 77? And I'm like, well, yeah. I said, it's okay. And she goes, you know why 77 is good? She's like 69, but I get eight more. That was her line that she used. <laughs> That's clever. So I was Good like, job. I was like, damn, girl, she was throwing it on thick. So I always oh, had this, gosh. I always had this vision of of her like sneaking into the bathroom and, and fucking doing reach around on me. Lo yeah. and behold, years later, that actual yeah. scenario does happen to me. I said, have I told I told you that, didn't I? Uh, maybe downtown but... at the at the one of the one of the bars. It was like closing time. And I go to take a I go to take a waz, and the woman working wrapping up the night sneaks goes into the bathroom and fucking turns the lights on, fucking has her way with me. Legit, I mean, legit, fucking, fucking porno movie style, man. Like whoa, I'm like whoa, wow, wow, we cause we. So, I like I like the you know I like the fucking all all that crazy shit fucking in like random fucking uh, obscure places and you know like your your goddamn uh, your fucking uh, your map. Map to the fucking map of the stars. Oh yeah, you know. Map of the orgasmic like stars. I like that shit. I like it a lot. The thing is, I I I've done the cemetery thing, but in the car. I've never done it outside the car. I've heard of people who've been on this podcast going out to the grave sites and like bending them over and fucking on the graves nah. and shit. That, nah, I'm good. That gets a little much, I think. For I don't know if I could take that. Well, I, I mean, you do, you know, people, you people do whatever the fuck you want to do. I'm just, I'm not one of them. I'm not gonna fucking like put my ass on the fucking. I don't know. I don't like. I don't give a fuck. You're dead. You're dead. A headstone isn't any. But I'm not really all about fucking on your grief. You ever had somebody catch you banging and you didn't know that they caught you banging? You just kept running, rocking. Uh, uh, my brother fucking fucked on me. My boyfriend I left the fucking house once. I didn't know he was fucking there. We were, fucking, we were just fucking throwing ass all over the place, and he opened. Wait, wait, you're breaking up just a little bit here. I lost you. Oh, we lost her. Her internet connection took a dumpy poo. That's the end of the program, though, so... We're gonna have to catch up with Fiona. I'm the kid. This is the Going Deep show. We're wrapping up here. We lost her for a split second, so... She's all frozen. She was just getting into getting caught, too. Oh, man, getting caught's the best. If you'd like to reach our show, Studio Going Deep show, that's the place to do it. Hit the GDS.com. Give us a call. 993310 Kid, do all that shit. All that fun stuff. Just like we do here at the program. Thank you for listening in. For the rest of the crew, I'm the kid. Till the next one.